Hey guys, it's Mr. Creeps, and today I'm starting a brand new M Creator coding series. Um, because I don't think I'm going to be doing that many more of the M Creator tutorials, but I'm going to be working on this mod a lot. This right here is the, um, is the Edge of the Eclipse mod. And yes, I, there's a lot of features in here. And yes, this is my mod. This is my recording. And we can actually go to midnight. And I actually added a lot of stuff. Stuff, not stuff. Um, since the last video, I added in some recipes. We can actually get the books and stuff. And also, I added in some new ores. I added in some new mobs. I added in two brand new dimensions that are not fully complete yet. But today, we're going to be adding three brand new weapons that have some pretty cool features. The first two are the Gust and the Hurricane. The Gust is going to be a ranged item that shoots wind, and the Hurricane is just going to be a bit more powerful. And then the Tsunami, as you can see, we have two textures for this. Uh, and there's going to be one charged version and one uncharged version. So I'm going to see how I can actually do that. But before we go on to this video, it will be greatly appreciated if you are to subscribe. As we are almost to 150 subscribers, we're gaining almost a subscriber every single day. So and I thank you guys so much for that. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please, um, please leave a like on it. It is greatly appreciated. And yeah, let's start modding so we're going to be creating a ranged item i'm just going to be calling this the gust because that is what i'm going to be calling it in the game we can select our texture right there a beautiful beautiful texture right there and then we can do special information about the item i don't think that this, wait what's the previous page oh we can't go to the previous page um this is going to be called the gust and this is going to be i won't leave the description right now but you can leave it right there Combat, enable glowing, we're not. Max stack size, it's gonna be one. Leave item for ammo, we're not gonna be doing that right now because this doesn't really need ammo. Shoot constantly when active, yes. And we'll set the use cow to only about 50 since this thing's gonna be pretty powerful. And we do not need um, a sound since it's not really an arrow. Then we can actually amp up our power a lot. And we can actually set this damage to zero since I only want this to have a high amount of knockback. So let's make this knockback 10. So they, the, so the mobs go really flying. And we're not going to be doing any of these. Um, I'm representing the texture of the bullet. Why can't we just go with air? Because, I mean, we're shooting wind. Why not just shoot air? Uh, the models we don't need. Um, and the bullet model, since we're just using the built-in default model, we don't need to do any of that. We can do any of, we can do this stuff, but this won't be necessary as the gust is just going to be the simple version of the next mod, of the next mod item is going to be the hurricane. Just like that, what we can do is we can just change up the texture to this beautiful item right there. We can rename it the hurricane. And then we can make this one uh, not shoot constantly inactive and have this one at a 30. I have usage count. Uh, we do not have to have any of this other stuff. We can go to the next page. And then we can make this do, let's say, 2 damage and have it weaker. But this thing will actually do 20 bullet not back. So that should be good. And actually, since I copied it, I don't think we can do zero damage, can we? Can we? Oh yeah, we can. That's weird, I don't know why I reset it back to 500 if I copied the element over. But there we go, we have our two very, very simple, easy items. Now, this is where it's going to get pretty, pretty complicated. We can't just copy it over because right now we're going to be creating the hurricane. First, it's going to start off and uh, another hurricane, the tsunami. So no tsunami. I hope I spelled that correctly. And we can select our texture, just like that. And we can go to the next page. This one we can put in combat, even though it is just an item. Make this one. So guys, uh, I accidentally pressed my recording hotkey when trying to fix this the max stack size. So after five minutes of Waiting for my video to save, I am back. 
Even though it was like one second for you, it was like five minutes for me. So, uh, I'm sure speed, you can keep this all the same. Uh, max use duration. What does this use? Uh, yeah, we're gonna make this, uh, 30. Because why not? We can do 30, and we can actually have it do damage on its own. We'll make it do 3 damage. Because, because why not? Why not? And damage count? Wouldn't... Huh? Wait. What? <laughs> we can't use count mechanic. Oh, okay. I, I guess that's cool. I don't know what the difference between the item damage count and the max use duration. But, hey. Now what we can do, we can go over here, save this. And now is when we get to the coding and the hard work of editing and stuff. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a time lapse of me trying to code something. Yay, and it's going to be like 20 minutes for me and like 2 minutes for you. Hopefully, it might be 3 minutes because I think I can only go like 8 times as fast. Or it might be 800 times as fast. I think it's 800 times as fast. So I'll decide later. So let me code now. This is going to be really, really fun. That was a nice transition effect, don't you agree? Well, now we can actually go and test out the mod. I'm not done yet, because I'm going to recreate the tsunami-powered version to actually a weapon. But, I just want to see if I can actually get the tsunami to transfer into this one. If you right-click on a water source block. I really hope this works. And I really hope you enjoyed that transition effect, because that required some editing skills with a Z. And I had to use 80% of my editing knowledge to do that, which is kind of sad. <laughs> well, now we can create a new world. We can name it Squid, because Squid Boy. We'll just call it Squid Boy. And that was my chair. It's squeaky. I, I need to do a chair squeaking montage in one of my videos. Because this chair is one of the squeakiest chairs I've ever been in. It's even more squeaky than the chairs at my school. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear the squeaks. I really hope you can't hear the squeaks because they're pretty annoying. But now we can actually get our items. Woo! Tsunami and right click in air. Nothing. Right click on water. Still nothing. What? Does water not count as a block? I don't think the water is a block. Oh dear. Uh. Uh. Um. Okay. Okay. So all that coding was for nothing. Are you serious? Well, I have to get back to coding now. So much fun. What I did is, because I didn't realize that water is not a solid block, I changed the block to prismarine, because it's, it's the next best thing. You know what I might do as well? I might do it so that it soaks up the prismarine from the prismarine. And what I mean by that is prismarine will turn to cobblestone, Dark prismarine is going to turn into regular stone, and then the uh, the prismarine bricks are actually going to turn into regular bricks, and it's going to work eventually. So, as you can see now, if we click water, of course it's not going to work, we need prismarine. And why, why is there only prismarine wall? That's weird. The other stuff's well, so let's just grab a 
variety of these things. And boom, if we do this, yes, we got the tsunami. It works. Yay, my coding is sort of okay. Man, this is awesome. Now I can create the next thing I need to do, which is probably the hardest thing to do. Delete that. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to make a copy of the hurricane, call it Tsunami, and spell it right. Tsunami. Okay, Tsunami. I'm going to call this Primed, because I forgot what the other one was called. Okay, now we can uh, change this to this. Make it when ranged item used. We can do this, this, and we can do this. We can do it's of course it's gonna lag so much. We can do this and it's beautiful, it's lagging. I love lag. It's awesome. So we can do is we can go over back to player procedures, not entity procedures, add and drag and Ooh, that went far. And then we can go over here, remove this. This is not even safe yet. So I'm just gonna do boom. That. Just save that. I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this the tsunami. That's totally how you spell it, right? Yeah. And then what we can do is we can have a stack size, and then we can go back to here, and we're going to see this stats, because I forgot it, and enter this in as 4. Just like that, and I don't know why this has stack size of 64. And we're actually going to make this thing, uh, we're going to disable that, actually. We're not going to have that, because I don't want to have to mess with that, because it's boring. We can I am users count no next page uh we'll we'll, do, we'll just make it one bullet damage five and then we don't have to have any knockback on this but the real thing I wanted to do is make it so that if it hits a block I want it to spawn water. Because why not? So let me do the coding. I'm not going to do a fancy time lapse because it doesn't need to be a time lapse for this because time lapses aren't always the coolest. That is what I call a pro coder move. I mean, really, what's cooler than a nice short time lapse? Nothing. So, yeah, something failed or something. This thing. What fails here? Ah, it's just this thing. Uh, yay. Don't fail anymore. Please work. Compile. Yay, we fixed everything. So what I did here is now it's going to spawn a little wave, and it's going to be cool. And we can do this thing, and then we can do this now. Wait. Now let's do this, and then we do it the other way. Yay! What's this thing? Evernight Dimension? Why does that not have a texture? It should have a texture, but now... Hopefully everything's going to work, and whenever I snap my fingers, everything is going to work. So, guys, here we have the gust. Yo, look at that. It's just blasting them. Yo, look at that. And in the hurricane, it will going to be like... Yo, that's awesome knockback. I was able to kill that thing easily. Yeah, that's cool. Tsunami, let's get our boy Prismarine. Let's get some, let's get our Prismarine bricks because I didn't use any in the other testing. Boom, beautiful. And now if we just shoot this thing. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool, I like that. 
I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're my channel, it would be greatly appreciated if you were to subscribe. I do a lot of Minecraft coding and also a lot of Minecraft mods in general. And I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye, guys.